South China Morning Post, 12th of February 2023, Analyst, China's decision to export Typo 5-2D destroyers indicates that more sophisticated ships are on the horizon. Military experts claim that China aims to export its Typo 5-2D guided missile destroyer as its navy transitions to building more sophisticated warships. According to an article published last week in the Chinese military magazine Naval and Merchant Ships, the 7,500-ton destroyer, codenamed the Typo 5 2 for export, with its cutting-edge integrated radar, missile, and command systems, would be the most potent anti-aircraft vessel available on the global market. The U.S. only provided a core fighting system, the Aegis, for export as opposed to hull ships with long-range air defense capabilities, it was stated. The newest Type 052 of the Chinese Navy is 161 meters, 528 feet, long, 18 meters wide, and propelled by a combination of diesel and gas propulsion systems that allow for sailing up to 32 knots. With the aid of active electronically scanned array AESA, radar, it is equipped with a 64-cell vertical launching system VLS, that can launch a range of air defense, land attack, anti-ship, and anti-submarine missiles. Because it was placed available for sale, the Typo 52 d is no longer the newest game-changing invention, according to Beijing-based Navy expert Li Jia. The Navy feels confident in sharing, and its technology is mature. He asserted that Typo 52 e the likely name of Typo 52 ds replacement, must already be in the works. According to Li, Warships with a displacement of 7,000 to 8,000 tons, 7,716 to 8,818 tons, will always be in high demand by the Navy because they are beneficial in most situations. The Type 052D was hailed as a turning point in the modernization and growth of the Chinese Navy when it was unveiled in 2014. The ships were China's attempt to compete with the U.S. Navy's Arleigh Burke-class destroyer, which is of comparable size and equipped with the Aegis combat system. They featured ESA radar for air and surface search, VLS, and digital fire control systems. The Chinese Navy has grown to be the greatest in terms of the number of ships in the world due to a shipbuilding frenzy over the previous 10 years. As the primary surface combatant in China's destroyer fleets, the Type 52 d has been crucial to this boom. The Kuan Myung, the first ship of this type, underwent construction in 2012 and was commissioned in 2014. 25 Type 052 ds had been delivered by the end of 2022, and at least six more were apparently in the works. In the same time frame, China's Navy acquired two aircraft carriers, eight destroyers weighing 12,000 tons each, and three amphibious assault ships weighing 40,000 tons to its fleet. With a greater capacity for building exports, Li claimed that Chinese shipyards had built adequate production capacity to meet the needs of the Navy. He stated that the shipbuilding strategy of the Chinese Navy is to increase the numbers in tiny batches while gathering feedback from actual operations to make improvements. Foreign users might provide insights from various angles, which would be helpful. Over time, the versatile Type 052 d destroyer has experienced changes. The most notable is that the most current group of ships, sometimes known as the Type 05 DL and operational since 2021, feature new anti-stealth radar expanded helicopter flight decks, and improved propulsion systems. This expanded version of the ship has the basis for the Type 05 Tuta. But Lee asserted that he did not anticipate a significant amount of Type 05 Tuta sales because the large, sophisticated destroyers would be pricey, and the typical purchasers of Chinese warships, like Pakistan, would not be able to afford many. He declared that selling the ship was a cordial gesture and a strategy for expanding influence which must be offered at steep discounts to friends like Pakistan or North Korea.